Hi everybody, I have a tutorial prepared for you to show you some advanced conditional formatting skills that you'll need to know for your grocery list project. So what I have here is an example of a, of a school schedule that I made up. Um, it's one of those rotating schedules where you have a different class for first, second, third, fourth, and fifth period every day, for example, calculus, English, history, psychology. I did this just to make it interesting. I don't know if your school had schedules like this, but mine did, and it was pretty terrible, so keeping yourself organized is pretty important. So that said, if I wanted to be able to track really easily where calculus appeared in the schedule so I could be ready for it, I can go to Manage Rules, make a new conditional formatting rule, and now I want all of the cells that say calculus in them to be a certain color. So I'll pick format only cells that contain. Then I would choose specific text. And then I would say containing the word calculus. Don't need quotes, don't need anything like that. And then you pick the format that you want to use. So I'm going to have it be this yellow. And if you want to see if it worked, you can click apply and it looks like it did. So that's easy. What if I wanted to format a cell based on what it says in another cell, such as maybe I want all the cells to light up a certain color if it says yes in this box for homework. So maybe I want to know which classes I have homework in. So we'll select a new rule. And instead of picking format only cells that contain, we're actually going to use a formula to determine which cells to format. So this is interesting because it's actually very similar in method to the if statement, except the syntax is not the same. So format values where this formula is true is basically like saying if this formula is true, then format the cell this way. So let's begin. I want to format all of the cells that say yes in these boxes. So that's somewhat confusing. You'll see what I mean in a second. So we'll select that and then pick this reference. Now we don't want it to be absolute, so it defaults to absolute, you want to take the dollar signs away. If you pick this straight and you leave the dollar signs in, then every cell is going to become the color since this always says yes in it. But if you want it to be relative, then you so then it would turn color if this says yes only here. This would turn if it says yes here. This would turn if it says yes here. But you'd expect the psychology cell to not turn the color because there's nothing here. So if your formula works, that should be true. So we'll say B3, and that just means whichever, or B13, sorry, whichever is relative. So, and then if one of these says yes in it. So this is the format, equals B13 equals quote, yes, quote. So yeah, there's two equal signs. It's kind of strange. Now let's just pick the color. I want it to be green. And then we'll see if it worked. Apply. And it looks like it did. It colored all of the cells that have yes in them for homework green.